there goes really the music. Long intro. <laughs> and, the, and the music wasn't fading out either. Greetings, one and all. Uh, this is Tony and LPHQ East coming at you live from Disney Springs <clears throat> with Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what's going on? Uh, not much. Just uh, walking the springs, you know? There's <laughs> nothing better than a beautiful, soon to be rainy and lightning y and thundery day to break up the. Feels well, like 110 degree weather. It is. Uh, it is almost three o'clock, and that's around when they roll in. So we are here at Disney anyway. Springs to celebrate the flavors of Florida. Um, for this month, all throughout Disney Springs restaurants and eateries, they have special offerings just for this month. Uh, I had a chance to try some of the shrimp. I almost said blue shrimp because. The Star Cruise. Uh, shrimp uh, uh, ceviche at, um, hang on, this is just, this is, it's mannequin come to life. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. She is creating <laughs> the new art for the window for anthropology and she's just in there relaxing. Uh, Probably air conditioned. So, yeah. So if you get a chance or if you're just looking for something to do that is not a theme park, even though why people wouldn't want to be in the theme park with no weight right now, I don't know. Um, come to Disney Springs. They have some great offerings all throughout the restaurants and eateries. We'll be walking by and I'll probably be zooming in on some of the uh, standings outside. And then we're going to wrap this up with a look at a brand new take on a old store, 14 years old store. Wow. Is it really? Wow. Uh, Kyle calls it a salute to all Florida flavors, but mostly oranges. It, very much so. Um, the, the orange bird offerings are quite plentiful here. So you get to eat the orange bird at one of the restaurants? Well, he does think orange thoughts. So I, I would assume anything that is an orange would be related to the orange bird. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Walt Disney World's shopping, dining, and entertainment district, Disney Springs, is where we're at today. And we are coming at you live. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, concerns, qualms, conundrums, let us know in the comments. We'll uh, see what we can do. Lulu Lemon, or Lulu Lemon, uh, is apparently on the move. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Uh, this had not seen this. This was the old Ugg store, and they have completely removed the facade outside. And... Uh, Opening fall 2023. Do you know what UGG fans said when they found out it closed? Eh. Yeah, that's probably, yeah, spot on. Or meh. Eh. Most, uh, most UGG fans in Florida aren't. No, there, there's no such thing as an UGG fan in Florida. Yeah. Uh, when you go to a mall, do you go through the anchor store or do you go through a mall entrance? Um, well, considering there's what one mall still left in Florida, and really three left. I could in the think world. of at least two, yeah, three but, actually, if you go beyond Orlando. Um, I go through usually the entrance that is normally by a food court. <laughs> okay. The anchor store is every time I go through one of those, unless I know the mall very well. So, something I haven't done in at least twelve years. Uh, I get lost when you come out of the anchor store because you're always like, wait, where are we supposed to go? Um, What's your favorite sausage chicken guy? Go. Uh, Buttermilk Ranch. Okay. That is good. Uh, we did an article a while ago ranking all of the uh, sauces. Uh, so for flavors of Florida here, it's chicken. <laughs> Orange yeah. chicken. Uh, no, that would be uh, Panda Express. Panda Express, thank yeah. you. <laughs> so, comparative, um, I was here a few days ago and you couldn't walk without yep. running into people. So, 
today, you know, it is still earlier in the day and everybody's either still recovering from last night or we're smart and rush to the park first thing because that's when nobody else is there. That's what uh, we did yesterday. We were at Magic Kingdom a little bit in the early afternoon, late morning, early afternoon, after uh, the sonic boom occurred over our apartment of the military flyover. That wasn't a sonic boom. <laughs> that was tell just that the, to my apartment structure. That was the tanker rattling, which I, they kept telling us, it's going to be loud, it's going to be loud, and I'm sitting there going, I grew up in the high desert right next to Edwards Air Force Base. That wasn't loud at all. No ride, right, baby. But yeah, the park, uh, Magic Kingdom was surprisingly, I'm not going to say empty, but I got through Fantasyland and that small world Peter Pan corridor with ease. And that never happens on a Wednesday afternoon in February. So there's the thunder. Um, no, the parks have been, I, I will say, empty for this past week. I know Hi, my Alexander. friend was at Epcot and... Uh, pretty much walked right into Remy's. So, kind of shows where we are. Uh, We're going to try to go through these buildings. So, let me know if anything does start to get a little okay. alarming. Well, there is an alarm. Yeah. Are you in Cation mode? Uh, no, I'm yachting. The, the Hampton says things. hi everyone. Hi Hampton. Hey Visalia, I lived there for a year of my life when I was a wee wee child. So, no, I hey, heard the let's, thunder. Let's interview I'm, I'm a uh, random person. Oh, Hello, I thought sir. we saw walk, Hello, walk right by him. Random please, please streamer. tell me uh, all about your experience here at Disney Springs. Oh, you know it's going well so far today, random streamer. Um, <laughs> Uh, I went to the, the Jock Lindsay's hangar bar prior to seeing the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny film in theaters now. Did you happen to take any pictures of new stuff that were in there uh, so I don't have I to? I didn't see anything. I couldn't tell you what was new. I did spot the voodoo dolls from the Temple of Doom, which I know have been there forever, but they were cool. I, I will go and look for that. <laughs> so thank you, random stranger. You're have welcome. a good day, sir. For those of you who don't know, and it would be surprised if any of you actually did know, uh, that is Luke, one of our team here. If you needed. watch our uh, morning show regularly, a lot of times when Doobie's not available, Luke will sit in uh, with Kyle and help out for that one. So devotees will definitely recognize Luke there. Um. I'm going to walk down to the entrance of the theater and then probably turn around and come back pretty quickly because judging by the, how angered the gods are, I don't know how well I am about uh, go. two miles from where you are right now. And uh, I could tell you, it's, it's getting a little, a little puppy. So. Yeah, it's... Oh, hang on. Let's, let's walk over here and look at this random advertising that cracks me up. Is it the H2O, H2O Glow? Glow? Yeah. Yes. After Hours has a nice Woody out here. Uh, they have a DJ out later along with some games. If you've not participated in H2O Glow After Hours, it is a very fun activity at Typhoon Lagoon. Again, it is an After Hours, so it is a hard ticketed event. Um, gives you guests a chance to enjoy Typhoon Lagoon without the crowds. Plus, it is all themed around uh, Partysaurus Rex. So there's some fun stuff out there. And as we walk through Food Truck Park, we notice that there are no longer any Disney food trucks. Uh, they are now the local green Orlando, which is all plant-based, and the worst truck in the world, cilantro. Um, hold on, I have a banner for this. Let me see where it's at. There we go. No, but most. I, I don't. <laughs> uh, here's something else that just opened up again. The Sunglass Hut is open. Not to be confused with the former Apex by Sunglass Hut. Looks very nice. 
very open. Is somebody light. getting dental work done near you? I hear a lot of like drilling. <laughs> uh, that would be the uh, Schumer House on the ah. lake. Just like, what's going on? Uh, apparently, there was something going on at Pele this morning that caused them to have a stanchion outside. Let's have a look. Uh, have you seen Indiana Jones yet? Uh, yes, I. Oh, it's like wow, these guys are dressed interestingly. Drawn to life, Cirque du Soleil, excellent show, excellent show. Uh, yes, I saw it. Uh, one of the first screenings out here. I really enjoyed it. You know, if they are going to make another Indiana Jones, they made a fun one, and that's what matters the most. I also love time travel. If I'm spoiling something for you, I'm sorry, but you really need to go see a movie sooner than two. Now, how did you feel about uh, the the cameo of Doc Brown and Marty McFly? Uh, it was okay. Okay. <laughs> Some random stranger waving at us over and over again. Uh, well, hello, stranger. But no, I enjoyed it. Had you have you seen it yet? I have not seen it yet. No, the last uh, movie I saw in theaters, which everybody should do, was uh, Pixar Animation Studios Elemental. Yes, if you want to see a rom-com. That... But see, that that's the thing. The rom-com is like the third story being told in that movie. What are the first two stories being told in that movie? Because uh, the uh, rom-com is the only thing that stands in, out. In uh, the, the story of um, uh, a parent... Uh, the parents uh, immigrating from Fire Town, or sorry, where Fireland to Fire Town in in uh, Element City, and then um, the daughter living up to her father's expectations. Yeah, those are stories, but the rom com is the thing that stands out. I think I think the dad daughter is the primary story there. Random people just running around me. They're trying to get into the... Where are you at? You're at the Starbucks. They're trying to get to those Disney Springs tumblers uh, before everybody else gets to them. For the record, there is no Disney Springs tumbler. That we know of. Well, let's go in and check. I know. We'll go down to the one by World of Disney. This one... Uh... That one's not in... That one doesn't have the... St well, I guess it kind of does have the store. Yeah, they have all the stuff out there. There's no interior portion of it, though. I'm not seeing what event was at Pele Soccer. So. Yeah, I don't know. Just random stanchion outside. Maybe there was a rush for soccer balls. Womp womp. Yeah, the balloon is definitely not going up right now. <laughs> oh, no way. I like hearing thunder in my house. And then hearing it on the mic from you, from your end. Yeah, I'm just, I lost power the other day for most of the night. Um, if you go back and watch Parks Talk on Monday, there's a portion where all of a sudden I just disappear. Well, that was when you guys were talking about the never built David Copperfield experience at Disney MGM Studios, right? The underground? That yeah, dang, very work. good. No. Yeah, very good. That doesn't work. <laughs> uh, Hampton says, great indie movie, wonderful way to end the series. And Hope is here. Hi, Hope. Now, you did walk by everybody's favorite water feature at Disney Springs, at least based on uh, profile pics. A bridge, yeah. I'm seeing lots of advertising. I, I'm being sarcastic. Uh, there isn't much for the flavors of Florida out here so far. I know Marie and Enzo's has a few different offerings. Um, STK, Steakhouse, Endless Summer Happy Hour, three, six, and nine bites and drinks. That's, that is a welcome thing to do there. Same with Parsidio 37 has a social hour. 
what you call it? Persidio 37. Parasidio? Persidio 37. Pa Paradiso 37. With your tiara. <laughs> I, I forget who I was. Uh, I think I was on Park Stock. And we were talking about that. I kept going, tiara. And everybody was like, what is going on? Me being obnoxious. Um, the ganachery has some amazing. I did also get to try these. They're honey lavender squares. And they... Yeah. I'll just... I should look at those. And for $3 each, they are worth it. Honey Lavender, wasn't that uh, one of the heroes in Big Hero 6? Why are you talking about Imageworks uh, movies? I'm talking about Honey Lemon, actually. But, uh, Sonia is here. Hi, Sonia. Good morning. The Hangar Bar, which... Will we see Luke there again? Uh, no, I, that'd be weird if you ran out of the movie theater to come to this. So we are going to stick around. Why would that, that be weird? Because he was going in to see the movie. Oh, I thought he was coming out from seeing the movie. My apologies. No. Yeah, that's what I thought also until I saw him, you know, actually walking into the theater. So we're going to come in here and look at the photos and the lost and found. And this is where you'll see a lot of the different old Indiana Jones references. And then somebody stole the clock and put it in here. Not going to ruin for anybody else. But yeah, so a lot of these have been in here forever. There's the uh, staff piece for the raw. Now, would you say if it's there somewhere, someone's having staffing issues? Uh, back there is the map for <laughs> Temple of the Forbidden Eye, which people are like, oh, look, that's new. No, nope, it's been there. Uh, I am going to head out of here because it feels like it's going to rain in here because of the heat. <laughs> that was weird. It, it, like, it got more humid in there than it is outside. Sounds right. Um, and they have the... That Casper was even fanning themselves off with a map right there, too. Jocks, hot it was. citrus, old-fashioned. Please note, beverage with alcohol. Is it in a slanted glass like that? It is. That's fun. They, they definitely mm -hmm. took um, the, the trend of every once an old-fashioned to the next level over there for six. Do they do the 50. little foggy bubbles too? I don't think so. That's for the bacon and that stuff. Mm. Holy cannoli. Orange blossom honey cannoli. But what's the thing underneath it? Strawberry shortcake what? Bombalata. Bombalato. That looks good too. Uh, it looks like... Um, ice cream in the donut and they cook it like they do at Epcot. And there's the thunder. Yep, you can tell it's uh, weather time because they're not taking out the Ampa cars. Yeah, we're starting to see this area uh, become less and less crowded so. I don't know would you prefer it be an island of like eight or so nightclubs and entertainment offerings uh, yes yeah. so it, this could be the most ingenious thing I've ever seen a trash can with a recycle bin next to it nope oh I mean, okay. he's walking to plug in the fan, but the fact that he's just, I would find a way to, like, plug that into my phone somehow just to get it going. I thought it was one of those, like, airboats, but made out of a cart, and he was pushing himself around for a second. So we're walking over to Happy Hound, 
because it looks like they have some new uh, Disney stuff. It says it's a squeaker toy. There's no squeaking for it. So you have Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore, Mickey, Donald, Stitch, Olaf, and Pluto. If I had a dog, I'd get the Olaf toy just so I could see it get tore up every four or five days. Why do you hate the movie that saved Disney animation so much? <laughs> Did it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> By that definition, every other Disney film has helped save Disney animation. Uh, no. It, Frozen was the return of the good animation. Depending on who you ask, uh, if you watch the new documentary, Pencils vs. Pixels, which is due out uh, wide release uh, later this year, um, the general consensus, and I agree with this a thousand percent, is Tangled uh, began the new era of Disney animation. And what came after Tangled? Uh, let me check my calendar exactly. here. Thank you. Let's think <laughs> about Frozen and Encanto and everything that came after that. No, uh, Frozen. Big Hero 6 came after Frozen, and it's a substantially better movie than Frozen. Frozen's Says half done. you. <laughs> uh, uh, Frozen, uh, Frozen's had, I could debate this all day. Frozen. Ooh, I'm sorry, uh, which was the one of the highest grossing films ever? Um animated features the lion uh, king uh i'm sorry frozen over well that's because you else? have higher monetary values it might even be finding nemo if you adjust for inflation uh no it's frozen and if you walk up to any little girl or a little boy and ask them i highly i'm not going to get into gender debates but i highly doubt boys will do it i i know plenty of people that love frozen Oh, I know plenty of people who love Frozen. I'm just saying there are better movies than Frozen. Yes, but the movie that drew people back to Disney animated films definitely was not Tangled. Frozen was the worldwide phenomenon. I mean, I, I, I do admit, you know, Tangled, Sing Along, Tangled Ever After, Tangled Land in Hong Kong. Yeah. Those are. I'm just saying. Looks like the volcano that was under work uh, is uncovered, but there isn't. It still looks like it did before they did the work on it. Sorry, I, think, fact, I, I think I'm getting private messages that somebody agrees with me on Big Hero 6. So. <laughs> uh, is this, this is the crepes? No. <laughs> when was the last time you were at Disney Springs? Crepes uh, moved over there uh, like about two years ago. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is the Dole Whip. Uh, it's the Orange Bird Nest, which is a waffle cone with Dole Whip. Uh, for six forty nine, and again, they, they take they take iPhone pictures and blow them up for these things. Yeah, I, and that looked like just a sticker on the waffle cone too. Ink. No waterfalls. Uh, uh, I'm getting reports that the volcano had fire on yesterday. Oh, I'm sure that the fire is back. Uh, they they shut it down to try to replace and repair some of the work in there. I think it's been about 10 years since they did any work, but they didn't clean anything on it. It's just they did interior work. 
Uh, can we go into the Christmas store real quick also? Because I know the anniversary ornaments are starting to debut. We are going to cut through the Art of Disney, and then we'll head through there. Cool. Also, Luke says hi. Hi, Luke. Not Manny. These are some nice little pieces of art. Oh, they're Greg McCall's. Five seventy-five each. Thank you very much. Let's see. Do we have anything new over here? Oh, this Mulan piece. We we were talking about. We this saw that at Magic, uh, Kingdom. Magic Kingdom the other day. Yeah. Yeah. It is just so detailed. Uh, Mulan also saved Disney animation at some point. <laughs> Again, <laughs> Frozen is the I'm movie saying, that everybody will talk about. At some about. point, everybody... And then and the next one will come on, the next big hit. That's the next one that saved Disney animation. Without thinking hard, I could say people said that about the Great Mouse Detective, uh, the Little Mermaid, uh, the Lion King, um, uh, Tangled. Tony, Tony, Frozen. Tony, I understand you're all <laughs> angry about this, but Frozen... Did I say 101 Dalmatians? I say that one. Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, because that was when they came back from the war cartoons. It can constantly get that Tony, phrase is so Tony, overused. Tony, build a bridge, get over it. <laughs> The Eric Tan figures. Because I can't, I'll say, I'll build a San Francisco bridge, like in Big Hero 6, which is a better movie than Frozen. Okay, that's all. Did you get all the pieces to make your Moonliner yet? Uh, no, those are expensive for the little figures. Um, I don't think that that's something that I'd be like, I want all of these strange little astronaut figures to build the Moonliner. I love the Moonliner, so. And there are older Moonliners that are still out there in places. Uh, Richard says, hello at the Springs. Are you at the Springs, Richard? Or are you just saying that hello to us at the Springs? Well, that's a fun Sword in the Stone one. And they have... Uh, Three Caballeros, Saludos Amigos, Rabbit. Okay, I'll have to get that one this year. Nemo. Because we got the Wally one yesterday, because there's a new Wally one. Monster U. Yeah, that's the new Wally one right there. Bear. There's a Brother Bear one also. Uh oh. Trouble. Oliver and Company. That's going to be a bad year for my wallet. Two different Jungle Book ones. Peter Pan dressed as Hook. I like how they're expanding into the main characters, but doing different things other than just the normal scenes. Hi, Richard. And then all just the old Toy Story 2. That 101 one Dalmatian. Hit the button. Good fun. I feel like you need to. <laughs> if you want to hear it, you have to turn it around. Uh, this one's from last year, but I still love this one. Yeah. Is that still on Disney Plus or do they take it off? Kyle, check for us. <laughs> Kyle, throw it out a little inside baseball. Showing Tony merch now is just going to mean we have to buy our own drinks at the wedding later. And crazy. Yeah. That, uh, that comment might only apply to you, Kyle, if uh, Jeremiah keeps uh, saying what saved Disney animation. The United Kingdom. <laughs> I 
Is that Tiana? Yes. In okay. an awkward like it's just the placement of everything doesn't quite make any sense. Are you trying to tell us something? Baby Minnie. Baby Mickey. Disneyland. Or Disney's 50th. Well, Disney World's 50th. Now you can just find some 100th. Now on, now in the third year of celebrating the 50th? Is that right? No, the 50th is over. Thanks. Hey, look. This is something you don't see every day. The actual mural with nothing in front of it. That's true. Let's see. There is contemporary. Is it one of the ones where there's a scene on the back side? Yeah. Monorail <laughs> going through. Not to scale. Uh, French Quarter. Kari Rien Beach. I'm guessing Yacht and Beach Club together. Yes. <laughs> oh, Riviera. This one's a massive one, too. Pioneer Hall, which has been out with the group. Polynesian. Pirates, Peter Pan. These are all the ones that have been out for a little while. This one is always a nice one. No, I'm not stalling because it's air conditioned in here. <laughs> in fairness, I hadn't seen a number of the hotel ones, but that begs the question French Quarter or Riverside for you? Um, I enjoy Riverside. French Quarter is nice, but it, if I, it, you know, it's New Orleans, and I, I want to be like Doobie and just head to New Orleans every few weeks. Uh, There's a song about that, isn't there? From the Jungle Book, which also saved Disney Animation at one point. I want to be I, like Doob. See if there's anything going on in here. This is the busiest store I've seen all day. Yeah, it, yeah, I'd say there's more people in here than I've seen almost walking around springs in one small area. Mandalorian figures, those are cool. I haven't seen this one. Grogu does not look happy. He looks tired. Yeah. It is a nice mix of Mando and Boba Fett. So I guess it's all Mandalorian, but still. Yeah, we're seeing more and more of the Galaxy's Edge merchandise make its way down here. I remember I got DJ Rex because I thought he was going to be like the one everybody wanted. Well, everybody wanted him. It's just he was expensive. Too. He was. How much is he? He's 150 still? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, and it's, you know. He's a portable speaker that every time I, everybody I know has had problems connecting to him um, or staying I, I, connected. 
in fairness, I never did it long, so I don't know. But um, my biggest complaint about him is that he's battery powered by like double A's. He doesn't have like a built in rechargeable or anything like that, at least the first wave. I don't know if they have since changed that, but. Oh, yeah, the storm is definitely about to hit. Here are some of the newer pins Yeti Schools, Ski School for Wilderness. Riviera is very nice. The contemporary, and then we get into Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Ooh, that's a 3D uh, Mary Poppins carpet bag ride. What are your thoughts on the Riviera Resort? Um, it's it's a nice resort. It you know it, it's following the trend of uh, more of a practical hotel, more so than a themed hotel. I enjoy. The hotel, especially with the uh, close the oh, with the uh, sorry, the O was for the Trader Sam's Grotto pin. Uh, it's a nice California blue, yeah. Has gotten two different ones for, or I think they have two different ones for the Enchanted Tiki Bar. So that one is new. Then there's the Haunted Mansion. Oh, severe thunderstorm warning until 3 p.m. Yay. Uh, some Hocus Pocus pins. Have you seen the Wally blind box? I have, yeah. There, there are a lot of those that are nice. But this on the Tom Sawyer Island 50th anniversary headpiece. Oh, that was, was that Coda? Stay with me. Nice. Oh, oh, Let's see if there's any magic bands that are brand new. I did see a phantasmic one that I really hadn't seen before. I'm sorry, Magic Band Plus. That's a nice, fun, just Marvel Comics one. I feel like Mac will need this. But it is definitely a Florida Fantasmic. But I'm sure that, you know, as with everything that is co branded for both coasts. Uh, can you look to the left? Because uh, Alex wants to see the carousel. I know we walked by it, but at least uh, if you look to the left, like... you can see it probably. <laughs> oh, there goes Gimbal. <laughs> but there it is. Yes, yeah, so I plugged in my gimbal the last time we did it, and uh, usually the charge lasts plenty time. And then when I went to get ready today, I had one dot. So I was like, let's see if we can make it to Trendy in time. And almost. We did not quite. Maybe we should start charging it before every time. <laughs> yes. Alex says, and write it. I don't think we're going to write it today, Alex. Sorry. No, that's that's a doobie. He wants at some point to do all the rides of Disney Springs live. So me all and of the them. Tiny all train two of them. And... Oh, the balloon too, I guess. So trendy, which really hasn't changed since it opened nearly two decades ago. Uh, they went through. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, very bright in here. Oh, some fun hidden characters, too. Uh, we'll have a, a full rundown of this shot later on. But Cogsworth and Lumiere above the door. Oh, that's fun. Is it just a silhouette of the other yes. characters or just those two? I thought I saw another one. Um, one of the biggest differences, though, they got rid of the changing rooms. 
Some nice flower paintings. Oh yeah, they definitely have some characters. Uh, you can't really see them that well, but in the center of those leaves are flora, fauna, and merryweather. Oh, nice. You can see something, but you can't make out what it is. Yeah. Uh, up there, you can see uh, movie uh, characters from the movie. You know. What about those uh, neon quotes behind you? I saw it "Just Keep Swimming." What was the other one? Uh, we got a couple around here. I've got a dream. Just keep swimming. With each of the flowers, though, there are characters around them. Uh, the top one up there, Flit, is floating by. And as, as I say that, I start looking at the other flowers and I don't see any characters. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> beauty is found within making fairy tales fashionable. You know, from that quote from the... Whoa. Hang on. That right there is breaking down news. For that headband? $15 for any headband. This is breaking said, news. Well, that one just said Disney Critters. Yeah, this one. But yeah, for any. Uh, the Disney Critters line looks to be discounted. Um, up by that beam up there, which you really can't see, Jacques and Gus Gus. <laughs> Over here, we have Hey Hey in there. That one you might be able to see a little bit better. Can you see Hey Hey's eyes? Uh, who couldn't? And then at the top of this one, we have the orange bird. There are the other silhouettes that I saw. Yeah, they definitely moved this store. Are those uh, the kittens from Aristocats? Yes. And then the flower behind the register. Uh, this one, one little spark. They did a great job of taking, you know, they didn't change a lot of this space, but they definitely cleaned it up and made it very pretty. And then there's Abu. Is it still called Trendy? Yes. I mean, I feel like these were the exact same shelves and merchandise were on the shelves oh, just probably, before it yeah. closed. This is still just considered the marketplace co-op. It is no longer the dress shop because it has more Tommy Hilfiger merchandise than Disney dress shop. Actually, I don't see any of the Disney dress shop stuff, so. Maybe that line has run its course. Uh, Nathan wants to say, what's up, Jeremiah? What's up, Nathan? Nice little cocoa serving tray. For cocoa? Uh, that one could hold milk. I don't think hot cocoa is recommended for these. And then let's go into the vaults to see which vault we're talking about. Now. Looks like we still have the Disney 100, Oswald. Three little pigs. And then we still have the Pinocchio. So it looks like all of the earlier ones are still in here. They don't have the most current. Or the, the <laughs> 50s, 60s, or 70s? No, 50s and 60s. Call me when they discount that uh, animation note board. Well, sadly, all of those heroes seem to be heading that way. Every time I go to one of the shops, 
they'll have at least one of those discounted. And then marketplace snacks with the bubble waffles. Is there a picture of a bubble waffle? What is a bubble waffle? There are actual bubble waffles for the bubble waffles. They're waffle cones, but they're Mickey bubbles. And they're massive. Let's see, we have the Mickey cookie waffle sundae. There is the mini sweet strawberry waffle sundae. That one looks good. Goofy peanut grand waffle sundae. Wait for the thunder. Oh, yeah, the storm is right behind me. Uh, the Pluto peanut butter waffle sundae. <laughs> it sounds like a horror film. It's right uh, behind me. The lightning just went up. Oh, there's another one. What do you say about it? And then the, the storm is inside the house. Inside lemon. the house. And blueberry waffle sundae. Um, I have to say the the example versus what the picture is. The picture looks really good. I think this could be something I get. Stephen pointing out that severe thunderstorm warnings are until seven. So, thanks, Stephen. Yeah, everything out here is all closed up. So, but what and if you want to get your Disney Rewards Redemption card? Uh, you can still go inside the building. But with that, we are going to end here because it's getting really close. <laughs> so, right, yes, folks. come out and see, do the Disney Springs flavors of Florida. Uh, all throughout Disney Springs, you can uh, definitely head to the guest services. They have a large brochure with the different examples of places and what you can get. Some great food. But then again, all food at Disney Springs is pretty good. So, and on that note, uh, wrap us up. Well, we got stuff coming up later today. We've got a, a full episode of Who's the Boss Live with <clears throat> Mike talking about the latest and greatest Star Wars news. I don't know. Yeah, I know he always has a specific topic. I don't know uh, what it is today. Also later, I'm glad I'm looking at this, <laughs> there's an episode of Barely Necessities, the latest and greatest in Disney merchandise with Becca and Rebecca. Uh, talking about things on Disney theme park shelves, all uh, your favorite online retailers, everything like that. And then tomorrow we have Zacks of Live with Mac and Kyle talking about the latest news out of Marvel. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned, like, subscribe, get notified whenever we go live with our content like this, and including our live park walk and talks today coming at you from Disney Springs. So hit that bell, get notified. Until next time, so long, everybody. Bye, guys.